Hey, what's up guys? So today we are just going to be going over kind of an update of what I've been up to over the past few weeks, as well as go over a couple of the goals that I see for this channel in the near future. Now, since we have been dealing with the COVID-19 phase of our lives for the past few weeks now and almost a couple months now, um, I still would like to let you guys know that if you were anyone that you know has been dealing with any of the symptoms or has been sick from from COVID-19 that my thoughts and prayers are still with you guys and hope hopefully everyone is going to make a full recovery uh, if they have it or are recovering from it already so um, but anyways we'll jump into kind of the goals that I see for this channel here shortly so uh, in the discussion part of the channel I put in there a few weeks ago that 50 subscribers is our first goal and then after that 100 subscribers is our next goal and the reason I want to kind of space it out that way is uh, 50 subscribers is my next intended goal uh, all, all together and then 100 is my my like number one goal but I like to hit that 50 50 subscriber benchmark first um, Basically, with that with that hundred subscriber goal, I am then able to put an actual handle on my URL, where it's not just a bunch of like letters and numbers. Um, so that way, it's a little easier to find find me and uh, and and share my channel with other people as well. So, on top of that, um, I would also like to start making some like channel swag, if you will. Uh, whether it's like stickers or decals or t-shirts, hats, what, whatever you guys think, um, I'd like you to go ahead and put in the comment below uh, what, what you guys would like to see. And if you're an artist of any sort, um, just go ahead and also send me over um, basically like a, a template of what you think would, would be a good idea. I've got some ideas myself, but I'd like to see what you guys what you guys think as well. So um, those are those are the next couple goals uh, for this channel that that I would like to accomplish. And then uh, kind of what's in store for the channel here in the next few weeks. Uh, I did buy a few more products from Chemical Guys, and essentially what I want to do is I want to go through and review each one of them. Uh, it's ones that I haven't personally used before, so I'd like to give you guys like a f uh, an insider's first look on the on the products, as well as do some side by side comparisons with products that are similar in in the Chemical Guys family. So the, that's going to be coming up here in the in the next few weeks once I get those products in, and then other than that. That's that's kind of what I have in store for for the channel right now, as well as finishing up uh, a driving review with Penelope, uh, the Macan Turbo. And then the next update that we're gonna do is what I've been up to personally. So if you guys didn't see my MacBook unboxing, uh, the link's gonna be below. Uh, click on that. It's uh, pretty it's pretty quick. It's nothing crazy or anything like that, but. In that, I described that I was going to be utilizing that computer as well to to do my schoolwork. Well, schoolwork has finally come to an end, guys. I just finished up my last two classes that I needed to get my my bachelor's degree in business and marketing. So I'm super stoked about that. I can't believe I'm finally done. It took a lot more years than I expected, but I mean, I finally I finally finished it up. So I'm I'm really excited that I don't have to do any papers at least for a little bit. Um, so soon to come, I'll be starting my master's program. Not sure what in yet exactly. I imagine there'll be something on the lines of marketing. But uh, just so you guys know what I've been doing, why I haven't seen any content recently, just been 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 getting those other papers finished up. So. And then in my free time, just to kind of relax and de-stress, I've been playing a Call of Duty. And more specifically, I've been playing a lot of the Warzone in Call of Duty. If you guys aren't familiar with what that is exactly, it's essentially this giant map uh, that you drop in with like 100 and other, 150 other people-ish. And 
you're basically going out finding everybody and trying to trying to be the victor uh, you can do it in teams or solos and stuff like that so what i've done for you guys is i've compiled like a my in my personal opinion the best of uh, the past couple weeks worth of gameplay uh, there's one victory in there finally got a, a second victory last night so i'm i'm really excited about that it seems like getting better as time is progressing and i play that more and more often but anyways guys let's get to those clips and then i will see you right after that first up we got me sniping this dude jumping around then we got this guy getting crossbowed all right so this one's kind of tricky wasn't sure where this guy was exactly once I went in here. Had no idea whether or not there was another guy in the corner, so I just went in there and, well, <laughs> kind of messed a few times. So this kid right here, he got so upset that I C4'd him a couple different times. Again, here's here I am C4ing these two guys, so that way we can continue making our way through the game. And then afterwards, uh, this is starting like the whole RPG montage of this game, so I absolutely just love destroying vehicles with RPGs and I feel so bad for half these people because when it happens to me I know I get super frustrated but hey it happens and like that's kind of how it, how it goes. So this road right here had this truck, there was another car prior to the truck and then we have this ATV coming up on the side and shortly after this clip right here there was another vehicle that came up as well. Had no idea why this was such a hot road but I mean, it, it, it helped us out a little bit. And then here, these people thought they were going to get away. Nope, not today. Same with that, that truck. And then this one right here, this was probably the longest RPG shot that I've actually successfully attempted. And I thought that it just completely missed, so I didn't know what to do, so I got ready to lock on again. But looks like I took it out anyways. This one was a, th a three-man team in the Hilo. Didn't think I was going to get them at all. I thought they were going to get me before I did them. And then since I do love taking down Hilo so much, I also wanted to show you guys that I do attempt flying in the Hilo myself. This is during a practice round right here and just enjoyed it. This was actually during the match and you can do a lot of damage with a helicopter. Didn't realize that until after the fact, but it was a lot of fun making this. This guy just popped through a door straight into a vehicle, scared the crap out of me. And then this was our very first victory that we had. And this was such an exciting, <laughs> an exciting match. It was so late at night, but it just made it that much better knowing that we had just played for such a long time in order to get this victory. So let's just finish up watching the rest of this part now. All right, guys, so I hope that you enjoyed all those clips. As you can tell, I love using anything that's not normal, essentially like C4 and, and RPGs as opposed to normal guns in order to, to, to get my kill count up. Uh, but anyways, I had a lot of fun playing that game to make these videos. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And again, this video was just kind of an update to let you guys know that I'm still here. I'm still uh, here working on content for you guys. And other than that, we will see you here as soon as the new products come in. So that way we can get some reviews on those. Anyways, guys, take care and I will see you later. Bye.